Another way to group is to right click up here in the toolbar, the black area here, and um, let's say, say I have these selected here, and I right click up here. If I shift left, say I want to make this group 14. If I shift left click, a dialog box opens up. And those are all my drums. There we go. I'll go up here and, and I'm mixing a little later and I, oh, I want to select all those. Well, you know, I forgot what tracks those were on. I just go up here and select and there they are. They're selected. That can be very convenient. And you'll see that there's other, you can select all, all inputs, all returns, all outputs. If you want to erase that, all you have to do is go to that uh, group selection and press the control key and left click. And you'll see, if you go back, it disappeared. It's on select, unnamed. Very simple. Just a couple ways of grouping. Um, okay, let's move up to what these buttons are here. These are the 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 link buttons, and what they do. If you double click on any one of these buttons, it opens up the ex the exploded mixer view. E. Why is it called the exploded view mixer? Because it explodes in front of you, right on the track that you clicked on, and the actual area of the mixer you you know you I want the EQ on track 11 double click and there it is EQ settings on input 11 this is the zoom mixer it operates just like it you can't move it anywhere it's it's right there you you have to click outside here or you can click up here to close it now I can also open up the zoom mixer from those buttons and how you do that is you control you hold the control key down and you just right click once and it opens up and see that then you have the floating zoom mixer and now if you go and right click on any one of these it will follow along that can come hand come in handy very handy. Now, how, how would you use that? Well, remember how small uh, I had this before? Well, here I am right here. And I can just zoom up to where I want on that track. <laughs> it's just a, there's so many different ways of uh, arranging Saw Studio to your work environment. Uh, just I love it. Okay, let's open this back up. Getting you familiar with the full mixer view, all the little ins and outs. Okay, here is let's go here to the EQ on channel seven. Now I want you to watch right here. Keep your eye on that right there. I turned on the EQ and a little bar opened up in that that little link window. And if I go to uh, watch right below it in the dynamics, see that? What these do, these little bars let you know that you have an effect on, you know, active on that channel. And of course, uh, compressor is the right bar, and the gate is the left side. And you'll see these bars in each window here, effects, aux, and uh, it's pretty, pretty simple to understand. That's what they do. Now, let's say I want to copy this EQ setting and these 
dynamic settings onto track 11. You'll notice when I select a track, it turns, there's a red outline. That means it's the hot track, if I didn't mention that already. But I want to take these settings here and put them on track 11. Well, that's pretty, pretty simple to do. All I have to do is select a channel that I want to copy. I hold down the Alt key and I right click. Now I have a couple of uh, selections here. I can just s copy the EQ dynamic, the FX settings or the aux settings, and I have four choices, little cells to, to store them in. Or I can store every setting on this channel and I have four cells for those. Let's store just the EQ in cell one. Let's alt right click and store the dynamics in cell one. And on then let's go here and right alt right click and store every setting on in cell one. So on channel eleven, I really liked the EQ. And I'm going to recall the EQ setting and put that on that channel. I'm going to go over to 14 and I want to recall that dynamic setting. And then over here on channel 3, I want I want all all of those settings from channel 7 put on channel 3. See how you can do that? And you can do this in every mixer view. Every mixer view you can recall your settings and put them on different, you know, copy them to tracks. And you can also do this with automation and we'll show you that a little later. Okay, what have uh, what else do we have here in this full mixer view? Okay, let's do this. Let's show you this. Let's close this session. I don't want to save any of that. I'm going to open up uh, this file here. I've been messing around with this. If I want to start playback in the full mixer view, I can do that. And what I do is I press the enter key. And what does it do? It preloads the song to make it instantaneous when I start playback. So I'm going to click the right mouse button. The song is playing. I'm going to click the right mouse button to stop it. I'm going to do, you know, do a little something, whatever I have to do. And okay, I want, let me play that back again. I press the right mouse button and it starts playback. Just like that. So there you go. That's the full mixer view in Saw Studio, and you can do a lot in the full mixer view.